hello lovelings welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you five of my favorite work friendly hairstyles that i use nearly every week now i'm starting off with freshly washed hair and that is because i want you guys to see the texture of my hair and know that these hairstyles are attainable and coarse hair now my hair is still damp and as you can see I am creating a side part and I am using the arch of my brow as my guide as to where that part needs to be. Now this side part and the part that I am going to be making going across to the middle of my head is the most important parts for this hairstyle those are the two that i'm going to be ensuring is clear and clean and this one that i'm making going down the center of my head i'm doing so with my finger because i don't want it to be exactly visible i don't want there to be any clear demarcations so now i'm just going to be combing out my hair and preparing it for styling Okay, so I basically finished combing thoroughly through one side. So I've sectioned that off using a pony or a scrunchie or whatever you want to call it. And I'm just brushing on this side trying to get the hair as relaxed as possible. So now what you are doing is you are flat twisting and kind of screwing. It's like a flat twist screw. And you're going to be doing that right around to the back of your head. Now, if you do not know how to flat twist and screw, um, you're going to need to <laughs> go figure that out to get this hairstyle done. But I promise you it's like super easy. And it's easy to do and it's a very quick style. Like I must tell you that none of these hairstyles in this video took me more than 15 minutes. So yeah these are great for easy mornings and persons who are on the go and so forth so i'm pretty much done with my flat to screw over on that side i removed scrunchy and i'm going over to the other side just coming through and show the hair as well the tangle and then i'm just brushing it smooth it all out and prepare it for flat twisting and flat twist screw i don't know what to call it what, what do you call it anyway so as you can see i am doing that again flat twisting the hair and there i realized that i was going in the wrong direction you want to find flat twisting the hair and i'm doing so upward not to the face i'm not twisting towards the face and twisting up to the inner side of your head so we're going to be doing that and just adding in it's like uh, twisting the hair but in a cornrow type of manner if you understand you're just adding in here as you twist and so one uh, as you can see I am finishing up here I'm just coming out the ends to ensure that everything is nice and smooth and once I get those two I am now going to cross them crisscross them over each other and I'm getting my bobby pin and I'm just gonna take one put it over to the other side the opposite side wrap it around the bobby pin and stick it in I'm going to be doing the same for the other side sticking it in the opposite direction in a crisscross manner and once you're secured there you just want to like for me, I don't like how high the twist tends to land on my head, so I will pull that down. But first, I'm going to lay my edges using my gummy gel, and that is all I use. I love it. It works well for my hair. It holds everything in place all day. This is the gel for you people, okay? If you can find a gel to really hold your hair as good as you want it to be held, this is the gel you need to try this gummy gel so i don't want to do anything too spectacular on my edges but i do want it to be neat but i'm going to save all the dramatics for you know when you're going somewhere other than work so once i'm done there i 
I'm going to be pinning down this side because I like it to lay a little low and flatter on my head. So I'm using a bobby pin, two bobby pins to just hold that down there. And once you're done here, this is pretty much the look. And that is hairstyle number one for you. You can dress it up however you like. You can add a bit of a nice clip or whatever to your hair too. I just basically took down the last hairstyle a bit and went to the front. But for you, you're not going to be doing these hairstyles back to back. So you're just going to be braiding your hair just over to your ear area. And you're going to braid it to the end right there and stop it and leave the back. Well, not braiding, but the flat twisting. And guys, making these videos can get quite tiring, so I, you're gonna see me from time to time taking a sip of my energy drink just to keep the energy up and keep it going now. So I'm going over to the other side and I'm pretty much going to be doing the same thing, just flat twisting right uh, from the temple over to my ear, just above my ear. And well, actually, I'm going to be braiding this one right away around the head to the other side. So, you will see me doing that. And now, you can use a scrunchie, but I never use a scrunchie really to comb my hair. I have these little clips and that I love so much, and that is what I'm going to be using to secure my ponytail or whatever you want to call it so i'm just basically coming out of here ensuring that all the hair is neat and pulled through and whatever uh, amount of the twist is still in the puff i am just loosening that out and once again i am pinning down that piece of hair like i told you i like it to lay flat and lower on the face so once I'm done there, I'm separating the little bun or whatever they puff into two equal halves and I'm coming that out and what I'm going to do is twist that and I'm going to leave it to just fluff out a little and then I'm going to turn it under and pin it over on the other side. For the other piece of hair, I'm just going to comb that out and twist it and I'm going to bring that over and onto the other side and then I'm going to secure that with a bobby pin just for a little unique bun look and I'm just fixing my edges once again nothing too fancy or so just want to look neat and pretty and so I'm just putting an extra pin in there to hold the bun a little more together for the two pieces to look connected and this is the finished look for it guys once again you can dress this up with hair jewelry if you like I so for this next look we basically just want to create like a little V in the front of our head using the center as a peak and go in for this look it's pretty simple you just want to ensure that your um, your parting is straight and crisp clean neat just to bring out that effect just a little extra spice a little extra sauce on uh, you know the traditional pony you know so I'm just uh, basically brushing my hair to ensure that it's going to lay in the way that I want it to lay and I'm just test driving it there I'm gonna be using uh, the clips that I told you about once again and I'm just letting it hold there while I basically knitting up the hair and try to get my part as crisp as clean and as straight as possible okay so now I'm just going in with my toothbrush and I'm taking a little bit of gel just to catch the flyaways and so forth and lay it and then I noticed that you know the part was not as straight as I needed it to be so I went in there and corrected that and I once again ensuring that it is precisely neat like 
that is what makes the look so you have to pay a lot of attention to that so I'm applying my gel and preparing to lay down my hair the way that I want it to be and so I'm brushing it all up there getting it all together and then I'm gonna use my clip again to secure the hair Again, I am just <laughs> fidgeting with this part, trying to get it to the best that it can be. So now I'm just laying my edges and laying my hair in the way that I want it to be, and trying that everything is in and it's as neat as possible. Now, when I'm going to work, I really don't like for my um, ends to be out, so you guys will find me uh, finding some way to fit that in. And so what I'm doing is creating a well in the middle of my bun and pulling all the hair together creating a little twist on the end and then I just tuck it in the middle to create like a donut effect and I secure that with a bobby pin right in the middle there now I'm adding this little butterfly uh, piece of hair uh, I don't know jewelry and that's just for a little cute look but there you have it guys. So I'm going to be using scrunches and this is like probably the only scrunchy hairstyle that I do. I really love using my clips. I don't use scrunchies that much at all. So as you can see I just uh, basically brush my hair back and then I started from the center of my head finger parting my hair down to the back. And I'm separating it into two and I'm securing that with my scrunchie to the lower part of my head. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm just brushing it up and put the scrunchie in. Okay, so you want to comb it out and just click one side of the uh, scrunchy and uh, puff into two and you're just going to hold that and pull it off to the side and secure it with a puppy pin. And you, you can shape it with your hands how you want it to be. I'm going to be doing the same to the other piece from in the same uh, scrunchy. Hold it on the opposite side and tuck it in. I'm going to repeat the same two steps with the other uh, scrunchy ponytail, whatever. So you know, messing around with it with my hand to get it how I want it to be. And I'm just going to apply a little more of my gummy gel to my edges and just brush it all in. Uh, with a hairstyle like this, where all of the hairs go to the back, I like to ensure I do a little extra with my edges just for that cute look to the front. So, you know, everything is just going on in the back. So, you do a little bit more with your edges, but not too much at the same time. And this is the look guys, um, I'm just adding a little piece of your jewelry or whatever for a look, but I'm pretty much done, this is optional, and this is how it looks, hairstyle number 30, I believe, or 4, definitely 4. Okay, so this final hairstyle is going to be an updo. So as you can see, I'm just combing my hair out and bringing it upward so that we can get this hairstyle done. And guys, it is tiring. You see me blowing, you see me taking my sips. Like, it's tiring. <laughs> anyway, I got it up there in that bun. Basically thinking if I want to use a scrunchie or uh, 
cupcakes and I'm definitely going to go for my group, the bigger one because I have two, it's like a small one and a big one and I decided to use the big one. So I'm just combing the puff out, getting it as um, big as I need it to be and trying out the ears combed out and I'm basically going to separate this one into six parts and I'm just uh, twisting it one by one and notice that I'm twisting it very loosely I'm not like trying to hold it tight or anything I want it to be loose and so once I finish with my toys, I'm just going to be playing around with them to see how they will sit or will cook before I actually get into setting the hair down. So I'm playing with it. And now I am reaching for my bobby pins to just lay the hair down. And you guys can watch and see how I'm laying the hair. You can come up with your own way in which you want to put it down. But this is how I am doing it. Secure with the bobby pins and just laying the hair down all around. So when I came to that back, I decided that I wanted to split that back in two and twist it and tuck it into the middle just to cover that uh, gap that we basically created in my eye um, in the middle. I didn't want that so I'm pinning them inward in the center of the bun and now I'm just pinning around opening the twist a little, pinning them together in areas where I feel like I need to and just, you know, shaping it to what I want it to be. So next I'm going to be laying my edges and just ensuring that everything is as neat as possible as can be. Now for a hairstyle like this you definitely want to um, you want to lay your edges and let it sit for a while, tie it down so that everything will lay. But I did not do that because I was tired, so you guys can definitely go ahead. That's it for this video. Hit the comments and let me know if you guys will be trying any of these hairstyles. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and sure you like and subscribe. Bye!